all that we have surrounding us, it's composed of four main elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Possibly a fifth one, ether, which is space. But anyway, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aaron from Pantanager. Welcome to a Fountain Pen review. And in this one, we are tackling the Visconti Earth Origins collection composed of earth and water fountain pens. Sticking with the elements theme, let me say that two of the best elements that go very well together, first of all, Italian fountain pen manufacturers, and second of all, Carolina Pen Company, the resin manufacturer, Jonathan Brooks, and his very colorful materials. As usual with my reviews, we are gonna go through the details of the fountain pen, customer experience, some information regarding the pen model, details, everything, writing sample with a gorgeous, gorgeous, 18 karat gold nib and in the end we're going to conclude everything in some personal opinions of myself visconti pen manufacturer based in florence italy established around 88 89 so pretty much a three decades old plus manufacturer of writing instruments from italy as a customer experience the visconti homo sapiens earth origins it's featuring this generic box from visconti so it's not super fancy and we're going to slide off this cardboard lid and opening the box inside we find one of the examples of the Visconti Homo Sapiens Earth Origins collection. This beautiful water fountain pen and it's resting securely and let's go and see what we find under it. ID card of the fountain pen stating the collection, the fountain pen, nib, trims, uh, the code and also the serial number of the fountain pen. And right here we have a booklet with information regarding how to care for your fountain pens, what you have available from Visconti, their mission. Anyway, let's put back everything together. Let's remove the fountain pen and let's showcase the two fountain pens because in this collection we have two fountain pens. One element is water, this beautiful blue fountain pen, and the other one is earth, which is just as stunning as the blue water one. So we have earth and water, two elements of the fort stated. So we have still room for fire and air. Let me tell you that this project was uh, completely done with the help of the USA exclusive distributor of Visconti. They negotiated this partnership in between Visconti and Carolina Pen Company slash Jonathan Brooks, the resin manufacturer. So I've seen this fountain pen in uh, January at the Visconti convention. All the Visconti distributors from each country were invited in Italy and I've seen this very fountain pen in front of me and I have been struggling to keep my mouth shut because none that was seen there must go live or public until it's launched. So it's been a struggle to keep my mouth shut and uh, let's go through some of the details because it's a homo sapiens. It's quite known by now because it has like two decades of history, this pen model. So it's quite known, but we're going to go through overall some of the details and let's see what's so nice about this fountain pen. Both of these fountain pens are made from primary manipulation, which if you don't know what this material is, basically Jonathan Brooks is just like a painter who is using different color resins, these colors don't mix and they are poured in very small batches and uh, the whole color it's super random. So each fountain pen individually looks different. We have a limited edition made out of 388 fountain pens but each looks individually unique. Let's pick up the water fountain pen and let's go through some of the details because it's blue it's a little bit more vibrant and we're going to pop in between in this case showing up the similarities and differences in between these two the overall shape of the homo sapiens is pretty straight it's beautiful it's elegant it's a fountain pen which is designed with the golden ratio one dot 618, which Dante Del Vecchio used in order to design this masterpiece of a fountain pen, which is so known by now. The finial bears the mark of the Visconti logo, the famous V logo, and this V logo is magnetically attached towards this finial, and you can remove it using this tool, which is provided by the MyPen system, and you can substitute this finial with something like name initials, zodiac signs, semi-precious stones. You can customize your fountain pen, not permanently. So this is brilliant as an idea for personalization. On the water blue model, every single detail 
uh, consisting of the trim is silver color on the earth origins it's pvd coated in some areas like this one right here and the other ones are ruthenium coated so uh, the trim elements are black or blacked out which goes very well together with the overall theme which is earth and let's analyze the clip which is designed taking inspiration from a famous bridge ponte del vecchio in florence me personally i visited that place and it's very very iconic to see this clip shaped like this this is spring loaded and it's very practical and i've used it for a number of times keeping my fountain pen quite safely on this clip we have visconti and uh, right there under the letters we have enamel and uh, it's the same turquoise enamel on both models but it's a little bit more vivid on the earth model because the overall background it's going to look much more offset with the black ruthenium plating and we have the two iconic sterling silver rings on the cap right here the cap it's narrow on this point and thin in a little bit towards right here at the edge this one has the hook safe lock mechanism and you can uncap the fountain pen in a matter of a turn and not a complete turn just a quarter 10 percent of a turn so it's just like a bayonet capped with a spring loaded uh, inner cap and it's it's amazing to have this system my god i love this feature uncapping the fountain pen we have the in-house made 18 karat gold nib by Visconti which it's been like two or three years since we have this nib available on Visconti models and I think it's been just like going up in quality in writing performances and for sure Visconti has been working night and day to perfect this nib and to offer a very very nice writing platform let me know if you enjoy my content give this video a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm and everything subscribe to us our channel and if you're looking for a fountain pen from penventure scroll down you'll find the details on our website and everything on this nib we have a beautiful fleur de lis motif right there stamped in the middle visconti the beautiful very archy breather hole and it's a static lower 18 karat gold 750 the nib size fine in this case and uh, available on this fountain pass you can choose in between extra fine fine medium broad and a 1.3 millimeter stub it's it's a gorgeous nib it's it's riding very very pleasant and let's have a look and also check out this ruthenium coated 18 karat gold nib on the earth origin let me tell you that black on black goes super well so black trims black nib i just have a sweet tooth for uh ruthenium plated trim elements on fountain pads anyway abs plastic feeder as usual with this conti both the nib and the feeder are friction fitted inside a housing and together they form the visconti nib unit you need one of these tools in order to remove the nib unit safely and uh, that tool is offered only to retailers so i will have the possibility of changing nibs uh, in between fountain pens authorized by visconti and uh, let's have a look at ergonomics this section it's very very comfortable as usual with homo sapiens models is thin in the middle and it has the overall shape of an hour glass like the one right here so it's thin in the middle here we have the grooves of the capping system the bayonet type hook safe lock mechanism and uh, thank god they are polished super super well because even if you hold the fountain pen like this it's not sticking out too much or it's going to be noticed by your fingers so it's amazing right here we have a sterling silver trim element this ring barrel ring on it we have homo sapiens engraved and opposite the serial number of the fountain pen 270 out of 388 just like i told you this is a limited edition of only 388 pieces which is not that much considering that some of the visconti homo sapiens models are limited to 888 pieces let's move further and right here we have the barrel of the fountain pen thinning in towards this ring and on the barrel we have a display of this beautiful beautiful primary manipulation colors on the water fountain pen we have turquoise deep blue black and they are dispersed very evenly and they are chateauing there is a little bit of sparkle in that turquoise and let's have a look at the earth origins as well and we have this beautiful mustard yellow uh, black and this turquoise and if you ask me 
you can very much put these two fountain pens in like a set. And the turquoise color links these two fountain pens so, so nice that they have a color which is present in both fountain pens, both in the water element and also in the earth elements fountain pen. Let's move further and we have right here a ring which divides the barrel from the piston knob or the end finial. And as usual with Visconti, their trademark filling system is the power vac. On this fountain pen, we have double reservoir power filler. And uh, what that means is that this fountain pen is using a vacuumatting filling system. And it's much more easy to see on a fountain pen which has some demonstrator quality, semi-transparent, and moving the piston down like this using the rod forms vacuum behind right here. And right here at the bottom, once we pop that vacuum bubble with the nib submerging ink around this level right here, it's gonna suck up ink through the feeder and the nib into the fountain pen and behind the piston. The double reservoir feature allows you to take all of the ink from uh, the ink chamber right here behind the piston, then seal it off. And this way you are preventing the fountain pen to burp ink and to stain your favorite shirt. And you can still keep the fountain pen in your pocket, nip down and uh, yeah, it's much more practical. Overall, this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Earth Origin Water. And also right here, we have the Earth version as well. Two fountain pens, limited edition, 388 fountain pens for the water, 388 fountain pens for the earth. So it's not a super, super broad limited edition after all. Now that we got that out of the way and you've seen the details and this amazing fountain pen collection and uh, everything that stands as being details on these two fountain pens, let's have a look at some dimensions, proportions, and then we're gonna move into the writing sample. And since we moved that briefly, I'm gonna showcase both nibs. So we have a fine on the water and we have a stub on the earth. So like this, I'm gonna have twice as much fun checking out the fine point and the stub point and you at home can make up your mind if you like to try something in the fine tier of nib sizes from Visconti or stub, which is 1.3 millimeters, super wide and very, very special. Kept like this, the fountain pen measures 146 millimeters. I'm kept like this in writing position, it's measuring 132 millimeters. Posted like this, it's gonna measure 173 millimeters. The total weight of the fountain pen fully inked, capped or posted is 47 grams. And I'm kept in writing position, fully inked like this is 26 grams. I know that I've said we're gonna have a side-by-side -side size comparison, but to this point, we had so many Homo sapiens models being reviewed on the channel. It's such a known model, so you at home possibly have one if you're watching this video. And let's go with the pricing matter. So this fountain pen, it's priced at 925 euros, no VAT. And if you want to add the VAT for EU customers, it's going to be around 1,000 100 euros. Let me tell you that when I got the info that this font pen is going to be launched at the Visconti convention in January, I've seen a recommended pricing of 1,250 euros, including that, which is 150 euros plus from what is the official price right now for this fountain pen. I said back then that it's a little bit steep and right now I would say it's better. We sold some of this fountain pens. We only have available four of them, two water, two earth origins. And the feedback was amazing. Everyone was happy. Everyone was cheerful. Nibs were riding perfectly. The fountain pens were looking stunning. I'm super happy because of that. Anyway, let's move and let's see these two nibs in action on some very good quality paper. Pen. And we have this Conti. Earth origin and the nib is 18 karat gold fine point. Now, in perspective, let's have a look at the stub and uh, let's go. Pen. Ooh. You know right now, by the smile on this face, which one is my favorite. Anyway, let's continue. This 
Conti, Earth Origin, and this is Earth, and this one is Water, and the nib, 18 karat gold, 1.3 millimeter stub. As you can clearly see, we have two nibs that are just simply opposite towards the spectrum of the nib sizes. And uh, let's have a look at the wetness test of a fine point. Let's see the ink flow, how it's handling. I would say this is moderate, not wet, moderate. And this is just simply stock as it came from Visconti. And I had two passes. And you can clearly see that it's an ink flow which is to a certain degree uh, worthy of the fine point aspect of the nib. And you would expect not to have a fire hose wet ink flow from a fine point. Now let's have a look at the stub. Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So this is a stub point. So let's have a look at a double pass super wet ink flow and just as you can expect from a stop point it's wet it's juicy it's beautiful now normal and flex with a fine point normal figure of eights i wouldn't say this is a japanese fine but it's a much more finer point than a 23 karat palladium dream touch nib in the past to this aspect i would say that the gold nibs from Visconti run a size lower than the 23 karat palladium dream touch nibs flex hmm i wouldn't say this is a nib that it's prone to flexing or it's just going to offer you tons of line variation from uh, its uh, fine point or extra fine point i would say this is relative stiff gold nib and it shouldn't be flexed or it shouldn't be pushed too much normal figure of eights and uh, just from having this nib ground just like a square so if you look at the nib like this facing like this you can see just like a square like this so it's ground in such a way to offer line variation so the horizontal lines are uh, much more thinner and like this the vertical lines are a little bit more broader so i wouldn't see why you would want to flex this nib because you already have line variation from the normal grind of the nib. Let's go and analyze some of my personal opinions regarding these two fountain pens. Finally, we have a collaboration in between Jonathan Brooks and another Italian fountain pen manufacturer, an important fountain pen manufacturer just like Visconti. So now I can have my favorite primary manipulation resin from Jonathan Brooks in a homo sapiens version and i don't need to go about and do this custom pen thing uh, sending rods to someone who is an independent pen maker to to simply copy a homo sapiens design fountain pen and to sacrifice a fountain pen like a, a bronze age like this one in order to make this fountain pen as custom now i can have it from visconti themselves so this is something super super nice both of these colors are amazing regardless if you choose water or earth these two elements go so well together even the two fountain pens are linked in between with this uh, turquoise color and it's stunning vibrant colors great theme gray theme like for example four elements and this is two this leaves out another two for next year it's gonna open up the door for much more nice things to see from Visconti in the following years as well if you ask me I would go forward and make the air and also the fire fountain pass next year and another one which is basically the fifth element the ether the space that is surrounding us and it's going to be awesome to see the next things that are going to be available in this series so please Visconti do the other two fountain pens and please do the fifth element as well italian fountain pens have been known to be more flashy more colorful more vibrant and for the very first time that i've seen a collaboration in between jonathan brooks and an italian fountain pen manufacturer was with leonardo Ficina italiana now pretty much all of the companies are following the trend i've seen stuff from monte grappa now i've seen stuff from visconti and it's nice to see that the designs are fresh the colors are different and we have a pretty much 
something of a trend. And I would like to see more of this trend replicated towards other companies uh, from our industry as well. And it wouldn't be a pen venture review for a fountain pen if I would say pass on the um, part of the video that I would say this is feedback from me as a collector slash retailer of fountain pens towards the manufacturer that probably is going to take on my feedback for the next collections. And this is the things that I would do different on this fountain pen. It's driving me crazy not having an ink window on this fountain pen. Maybe it's just the me, but I would have loved to see something as a transparent barrel ring right here, which I've seen done on other fountain pens from Visconti that will show a little bit of the ink color and also the ink volume overall you have an idea if it's on the low side on the high side for the next two fountain pens Visconti if you're seeing this just add a ink window it's gonna help a lot pretty much everything else it's amazing awesome I love this two fountain pens and I love what you did together with Jonathan Brooks and also being helped by the Coast of London, which is the USA distributor of Visconti. If you have any questions, use the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. And if you want to be an owner of one of these two fountain pens or a set matching numbers, 270, and the other two are also matching numbers. So have two sets basically. So if you want to own a set, we have it at Penvenger. Check down below, scroll down, you'll find the links for these two fountain pens. Also, you'll find the links for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. If you want to have a specific writing experience with a Visconti fountain pen or any fountain pen that you order from Penvenger, leave some instructions in the order note and I'll be more than happy to accommodate all of those and to tune and adjust your nib me personally thank you for spending this time with me on the Penventure youtube channel let me know if you enjoy my content give this video a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm don't forget if you want to help the growth of the Penventure youtube channel subscribe right now if you're not subscribed you can click right there turn on the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content if you want to watch my previous content i'm gonna leave you this video right here you can click and enjoy as always I'm your host, David from Penn Venture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, enjoy your summer. Bye bye.